What's up, Traniacs? Just went for a easy little 6K run with the dogs at a 540 per kilometer pace. Uh, no idea what that is in miles. Over eight minutes, very easy. These guys, Gracie, you did fantastic. You're a great runner. Pete enjoys running a lot more than Gracie, but not quite as good of manners. You know who's a wicked runner and I've been meaning to do a video on how I think she could be the leading contender, one of the leading contenders to unseat Daniela Reef and Kona. I've been wanting to do this since Lanzarote and it is Laura Phillip. Let's head into the pain cave and get into the shall we, shall we? You probably don't know about her, you should. Traniacs, Laura Phillip. You probably don't know about her yet, but you're gonna know about her soon. It's not just because I'm about to yap about Laura Phillip for like seven or eight minutes, but I think that she could be one of just a handful of triathletes out there that actually takes a crack at dethroning Daniela Reef. Now granted, the last woman I said that about was Mel Hoschild and she has kind of got the injury kiss of death. So we don't wish that upon Laura Phillip. Good vibes. So Laura Phillip is like the biggest triathlete out there that nobody in North America knows about. Now, I wanna show you something. This is Google Trends. This is, it's kind of like a measure of how popular some sort of topic is. How much are they searched? And we see Laura Phillip searched in the United States. Hmm, well, Search doesn't have any data whatsoever. Give you something to compare that to. Just some clown who doesn't have her kind of talent and quite a bit of search volume. But let's change this from just the US to worldwide. And, oh, well, okay, she starts popping up and let's change that to Germany where Laura's from and I fall off the face of the earth, rightfully so. So she is kind of like the surging star and the hopeful for Germany as far as Ironman racing goes. Like she's tremendously popular. She actually has a YouTube channel that unfortunately I can't understand because it's almost all in German. So why is she so popular and why am I placing her on this pedestal even though Nobody in the United States is really looking out for Laura Phillip. Well, look at this. Let's look at her results. We will go back. I just want to show you the last two years to show you how dominant she's been. 2017, damn near wins everything. First, 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 first. Third place in half Ironman World Championships. Third place in the Xterra World Championships in Maui. Let's go to 2018 literally wins everything. First, 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 first. Now here is the big clincher. Go up to the top of her website. In her Ironman distance debut, she did an 8.34.57 in Ironman Barcelona. This is a crazy fast time. Like this is like record setting stuff. Literally, it was a course record. So now let's go swim, bike, run and see Discipline for discipline, how she actually stacks up. Laura Phil, one L, two Ps. One L, two Ps. Of course, we can't compare races that are different between different athletes because every course is different, all the conditions are different, but we can look at how she performed on average in the races that she competed in. So Ironman Barcelona, go to the female pros. She had the third fastest swim. She had the fastest bike. She had the fastest run. Let's go and see some other races. Second fastest swim, fastest bike, fastest run. Half Ironman Kreichau. Not quite in the front pack of swimming, but, but fastest bike and again, fastest run. And if you go through all of her performances in just about every race she's done over the last two years, that's kind of how it's been. She's a front pack or second pack sort of swimmer. She is an animal on the bike and then an even bigger animal on the run. And one thing that we've got to think about as it relates to the run is that she's putting out these fastest runs 
coming off the bike in the lead. And how these pro races work is that you kind of race your competitor. So she's not racing to a max effort because she doesn't have to chase anyone down. If she had somebody either beside her or in front of her that she had to chase down, odds are that she would actually put out an even faster run. Now here's the reason why I think that she could be one of the heirs to the throne of Iron Man racing. It's because she's very young and especially young in sport. She's only 31 years old, but she really only took up endurance sports when she was in college and she had to bike 30 kilometers to and from the school and being competitive, she started turning it into a race and she started passing a bunch of guys that were commuting and realizing, holy smokes, I've got a little bit of talent in this. So it's not like, say, a Lucy Charles who is quite young, but is fairly seasoned in sport because she's been in competitive sports since she was, I think, six. So she's got like 15 to 20 years of endurance racing in her body. Laura Phillip is still getting much faster having only been in competitive sports for five or six years. So there's a lot of room for her to still move up. Her body is going to be able to absorb a lot of training and hopefully she'll be fairly injury resilient. Now, what is my prediction for how this plays out in Kona if she and Danielle Reef have the races that they're capable of? We'll get to that right after this message. Today's video is brought to you by Sporks. These are the only socks that I wear when I'm working out. And if they're good enough for Lucy Charles, they are good enough for me. Love try socks? Got them. Need to go beast mode? Do it. Want to feel spicy? Sporks have you covered. Sporks has everything. Cute kissy lips, flamingos, freaky deaky custom Kona sock dudes, they've got it all. Use the coupon code Terran to get 10% off all regular price socks from the Sporks website and there is a link in the description below to that Sporks website. If you click through that, let's know that you came from us. Thanks Sporks. So here's my prediction about how this actually plays out at 2019 Kona. I think she's going to come out of the water, I'm guessing, second pack. She might be in that second pack with Daniela Reef. Daniela Reef has been either a front or second pack kind of swimmer. Neither one of them are going to be Lucy Charles, like out front kind of swimmers. But in that main pack will probably be Daniela Reef. And I would guess Laura Phillip will have a little bit of chasing to do once she gets onto the bike. Daniela Reef and Laura Phillip on the bike, I would probably give the edge to Daniela Reef. However, I would think that more athletes will be willing to work with Laura Phillip than Daniela Reef because everyone's gunning for the top dog out there. And when you have that target on your back, I don't think you're going to get your competitors willing to work with you. Laura Phillip might have a little bit of help, even if it's just one or two watts with that long non-drafting rule in Kona, it's still a bit of a help. So coming off the bike, Laura is going to have to do a fair bit of work to catch up. And that is something that we haven't really seen Daniela Reef have to deal with. She's never really dealt with somebody that has run legs as good, if not better than her, chasing her down from fairly close in behind. In the end, I will say that Daniela Reef is still at the top of her game in triathlon and it's gonna be Laura Phillips' first crack at Kona, and there's a lot of learning that needs to go into mastering that race because there are so many more variables. So I think that she could win it. I don't know if that'll be this year, but I'm excited to watch. Now, if you speak German or you don't mind reading subtitles, go and check out Laura's most popular videos here and here. I know her videographer, he does a fantastic job doing it, very artsy, a lot of production value put into the videos that they put out and uh, they actually said that it was okay to use some of this footage. So, so thanks Laura and Renee for allowing this and I look forward to seeing what happens this year. Kill it.